It's an absolutely beautiful summer day here in downtown Chicago. Right now I'm on a bit of a trip. I'm visiting my parents, but today I'll be going solo as I visit the Chicago neighborhood of Chinatown. Now when I'm back here in Chicago, my main priority is always family, and I try to spend as much time as possible with them, but I always try to devote at least one day to myself to get out to the city, go to some of the restaurants I love, and uh, see some new places and sights. And that's what today's all about. I absolutely love Chicago's Chinatown. It's a great neighborhood and not just because of the food. Now the neighborhood is a bit of a ways from where I'm at now and the best way to get there is probably the Yelp, but it is such a nice day out. I think I'm gonna walk there. Besides, this will give me a chance to see how the city has changed along the way, see some of the sights, and really just enjoy this place I used to call home for so many years. And with that being said, it's off to Chinatown. Well, on Michigan Avenue right now, heading south towards Chinatown, and already I'm having such a wonderful day. This has been a very pleasant walk so far. You know that song, A Perfect Day by Lou Reed? That's the song I've stuck on repeat in my head right now. This is just so much better than being stuck in some dark and dingy uh, subway car. Ugh. Anyways, I already had a very nice experience earlier in the day when I checked out the new food hall at the old post office office building. Now, it was my first time there since the nearly $1 billion renovation, and wow, that place is simply stunning. And the food hall itself seemed pretty decent. Um, it doesn't seem like everything's completely filled up, but I certainly enjoyed the coffee and treat I had. It was a very nice donut, and uh, it was a very nice atmosphere. Also, fun fact, the opening scene of The Dark Knight was filmed in the old post office. But anyways, onwards to Chinatown. Well, that walk took longer than I thought it would, but I finally made it to Chinatown. It feels good to be back, but first things first, I'm heading to lunch. I'm going to a restaurant that I've never been to before. It's called Dolo. It's kind of a dim sum slash seafood restaurant. It's got really good reviews. In fact, Esquire named it one of the best new restaurants in America the year it opened. So I'm so excited to eat there. Let's go to lunch. Well, that was an absolute foul. It was completely packed. Now I gotta go find some other damn restaurant to eat at. Nothing irks me as much as stuff getting in the way of me eating food. But it's my fault. I should have gotten here earlier. Maybe I shouldn't have walked here and uh, taken the L instead, but I'll find something. I ended up going to Ming Hin Cuisine, a bustling and popular restaurant mainly known for its dim sum. All right, so I'm seated right now in Ming Hin, pretty much the most iconic restaurant in Chinatown. I've never been here before, which is surprising, but yeah, I'm super excited about this lunch. Now it seems like most people are ordering dim sum, but I just ordered some uh, items off the regular menu. It looks really good, huge menu by the way. It even came on this kind of neat tablet. Kind of took me a while to decide. I mean, there's just so much. One thing that I ordered was the bitter melon omelet. I can't imagine how that would actually be good, but you know, I'll give it a try. The other thing I ordered was the salt and pepper soft shell crab. That looks really good. I am so excited for this lunch. Well, I was a bit bitter about not being able to go to the other restaurant. I mean, this restaurant is iconic, and I can't believe I've never been here before. Everyone should probably go here at least once if you're from Chicago, so this might be for the best. The salt and pepper soft shell crab arrived to my table first. Alongside the course was a small bowl of white rice. While I was expecting a beautiful dish of crabs fried whole, it was instead presented in pieces. After taking my first bite, I knew I made a great choice. The crab was so soft and tender, but the breading encapsulating it had a remarkable flavor that maintained a perfectly balanced aromatic and salty taste. While hot oil and hoisin sauce accompanied my dish, it was so delicious it didn't need anything extra. This was indeed a great A plate of food. Next, the pan-fried bitter melon omelet arrived. I ordered this dish mainly out of curiosity. Bitter melon basically looks like a cucumber stricken with leprosy, and true to its name, it's extremely bitter. The fruit was sliced up and evenly distributed in the omelet. The excessive bitterness of the melon combined with the saltiness of the eggs wasn't bad and was actually better than I thought it would be. However, this isn't a dish that I would recommend, but I'm happy to have tried it. Overall, I was filled up and had a pleasant experience at Minghen Cuisine. 
That was a very satisfying lunch. I mean, that salt and pepper, soft shell crab, that was delicious. And the bitter melon omelet, well, that didn't suck as much as I thought it would. In fact, it was kind of decent. It's not something that I would order again, but it wasn't bad. Plus, you know, I got to try it. And you really can't knock something until you try it. In conclusion, I'm very happy with my lunch, and uh, I'm actually kind of glad that that other place didn't work out, because I think Ming Hen was probably the place I should have gone to in the first place. And now, I think I'm just gonna walk around and uh, do some exploring of Chinatown. So this is a pretty neat plaza I'm in right now. I mean, they have all the animals and descriptions of the characters in the Chinese Zodiac. Now, the last time I was here, some of them are in rough shape. It's uh, good to see that they've done some repairs. So I'm a snake. Now, I don't really pay too much heed to the Chinese Zodiac though, but it is interesting. And I mean, I can read every single animal here and uh, see myself described in each and every description. But still, I mean, it is kind of amusing to read. I just feel like this only half describes me and uh, oh, a bit of a spelling error right there. Behind me is the restaurant Wan Kao, which used to be the oldest restaurant in Chinatown. Unfortunately, it closed. It actually closed like a few years ago, actually, but the sign is still up. Although, who knows how much longer that sign will remain up. I mean, it looks like a Paris Baguette's moving in. It's, uh, I do love Paris Baguette, but still, quite a shame about Wan Kao. And I never got to go there. I'm not really hungry right now, but that doesn't mean I won't be hungry later. So I'm gonna stop in this bakery here, pick up a few snacks, and uh, yeah, should be good. So I got a few treats. I got uh, two Portuguese egg tarts, one for me and one for my dad. He's never had one. Hopefully he'll like it. And I also got a lotus mooncake, which I'll have for later. But right now, I'm pretty damn thirsty. I need to get something to drink. My lunch was pretty salty, but what do you expect? I mean, I got salt and pepper, soft shell crab. Plus, all I had to drink with it was literally hot tea, and that is not the most thirst quenching beverage. So, uh, on to get something cold and uh, liquid. So we just got this coffee tea latte from this uh, tea and boba place called uh, Te Amo, Te Amo. I'm not sure, but I got it. That is good. Coffee, tea, best of both worlds. This even has a little heart on top, very masculine. Really enjoying my beverage, but I'm gonna take this on the go and head to one of the best parks in Chinatown, the best park in Chinatown, I mean, Ping Tan Memorial Park. So this is Ping Tan Memorial Park, an absolutely stunning park right along the Chicago River. Right now though, I'm gonna quick finish my drink because time is rapidly depleting from the day. I'm also going to try to do a little reading. My current book is uh, Rules of Civility. I just started it. It's by the same author who wrote The Gentleman in Moscow, which I really love that book. And coincidentally, that was the book that I read last time I was here in Chicago. But yeah, I'm only like 30 pages in Rules of Civility, but already I can tell that this is a book that I think we're going to enjoy. Just look at that view, it's absolutely stunning. No doubt about it, Chicago has one of the best skylines. Anyways, this day just flew by. It's time for me to start heading to the train station to return to my parents' home, and uh, I've got a long way to go because my the train station is all the way over there. Regardless, this has been a great day exploring Chicago, exploring Chinatown, without a doubt, one of the best Chinatowns in the country and a great neighborhood of Chicago. I had a great time here, and I can't wait to return.